Hello and in today's video we are going to have a look at our IMAX B6 AC charger uh, Actually yesterday I was charging my uh, discharging my LiPo battery and I just felt a kind of burning kind of smoke and when I just looked at my charger so there was uh, something wrong so let's repair it okay so what actually is happening that uh, uh, when we connect the power the charger is working well but the only problem is that when we just connect our LiPo battery and it starts charging so here we have to connect our LiPo battery and when I go to the charge setup like this is a 4000 mAh battery 3s so when we start charging uh, it detects it is three cells and it starts charging uh, what actually the problem is that the voltage detected by the uh, charger is 0.5 less than the actual voltage of the battery so that is a problem because lipos are very very sensitive and when uh, for example the voltage of your battery is 12.5 and the charger is going to be charging it up to 13 uh, 12 point uh, up to 13 volts it will be like 5 volts more than the required charge so let's check it on our voltmeter and here we go so we set our voltmeter on yes it is okay and when we check our voltage of the it is actually 11.3 volts and the charging uh, and the voltage detected in the charger is 11 10.7 uh, volts so there we go 11.3 and 10.7 so there is a difference of 0.5 volts which is a problem for us uh, during our charge uh, so we stop our charging and let's see what is in there Okay, so I just unplugged the charger and uh, I'm just going to open these screws and let's see what's in there. And one thing more to mention that uh, uh, why I'm feeling that there's a problem in its hardware because when yesterday I was just uh, discharging my battery, so uh, I just felt a burning kind of smell so and when right now i just smell the charger so there is i, I think that there is some kind of like uh, a component is burnt in that so we are going to open this side of the charger and here we have our screwdriver and okay so after opening this panel I just saw that this charger is not going to open in this way so and uh, there are also the buttons which are just making like a kind of problem in uh, uh, getting this charger out of it so I just found a way to open it and that is just to slide this lower portion of the charger and you are going to open it the button are just going to pop up like this and you can just keep it to keep the buttons and the screws with you to reassemble your charger okay so after opening my charger i just figured out that uh, these two resistors aren't working well and one of it this resistor is burnt and that is actually causing the problem and uh, uh, now I'm going to replace these resistors and uh, as far as the color code is concerned I just figured out that this color code is invalid according to the color code uh, chart I'm just going to have my multimeter on 200 and let's see what is the resistance of this resistor that is already working that is 0.2 ohm and I think so that this resistor is 3 watt so I'm going to replace it by a 0.2 ohm resistor I have got some resistors some of them are uh, two of these are 
one ohm you can also use that but i prefer to use 0.2 ohm resistors because these resistors work actually as a fusible resistors they work as a fuse in this one and uh, they have got a very less amount of resistance but their uh, wattage is like the, uh, more because uh, more than normal resistors because in, in this one I just found that this is a 3 watt resistor and I am using a 2 watt 0.22 ohm resistor because I don't have the 3 watt so I think the so 2 watt will be also enough for that so let's desolder this resistor Okay, so I just unscrewed these three screws which were just upon this board and I just unscrewed them and here we have our charger. So now we are going to replace these. Okay, so I just took this resistor off the charger and it is burnt. Here we go with this resistor. I just took it off. Now I just clean this place and replace it with the other new resistor okay so we are just going to place the resistor in it and now we have just got this resistor in into it and now just put apply a little bit of solder into it and you have your charger there we go, just a little bit, not too much. Here we have another one. And now just cut these extra. Well, just let, let this get back and just put these screws back in it. Now just put these three screws just get back in into it and uh, don't put these buttons on that right now. Now you're going to do it just like this. Just put this charger like that back into it. Just slide this in and here we go. And now we're just going to put this panel upon it. And now get these buttons and now just put it in it and just press it a little bit so that it gets stuck into the, uh, the, the switch uh, down there in the circuit. And again, uh -uh, oops. Now just get this in. Okay, it is working well. And here we go with the last one. And it is working well. Hmm. Okay, that was all about this charger. And if you like this video and it helped you, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned. Thank you.